Obviously, we're going to be talking about YouTube today, uh, and there's a lot of great things you can do with YouTube. Um, so we've been um, starting these uh, workshops, and, uh, and, and the last one we had, we talked about Google+, and now we're talking about YouTube. These are all kind of in the social media realm. And um, the next one that we, we have is kind of a series. We're going to be talking about LinkedIn. So I know if you're a business professional and you deal with other you know, business to business uh, associates and clients, it's a great place uh, to network and to find potential uh, clients and to work with referrals and things. The, the, the thing is that most people don't know how to operate it though. So that might be one of interest for you as we, uh, as we, um, as we have more of these in the future. Um, so first off, I'm Lindell, I'm with Plum Marketing, and um, so it's great to see all of you. Some of you I know and some of you I don't, but um, our, we have a couple of sponsors that have sponsored our event today, and one is uh, Whipplewood CPAs, and Mona is here with Whipplewood, um, and I don't have these sponsors here, you know, because they said, hey, we just want to get in front of your clients. They're actually, these are, these are my providers, um, they're, I, I'm, a, I'm a client of theirs. And uh, so we really appreciate everything that they've done for us. Whipplewood is an incredible CPA firm. They're, I guess what you would consider a small CPA firm, but they're really a big small CPA firm. They have a lots of uh, great services. If any of you um, are in the position to need, uh, need accounting and those types, of, uh, those types of things, it would uh, do you really well to uh, talk with Mona. Uh, she is absolutely great. Their team has done incredible things for our business over the last Oh, three or four years, so um, we can't thank them enough. And then we also have Express Services here, uh, Express Employment, I'm sorry, uh, Rhonda. And we've been working with Rhonda for a little over two years uh, with a lot of employment needs. So many of you may be here and you have no need, no need for those services, but others of you, you know, might. Um, Rhonda works with us on a couple different levels. One, she finds us people when we're really busy and we just need, uh, you know, some extra, extra help. And we have people in our in our uh, shop all the time from Express. She can also work on recruiting and uh, finding you maybe that one special person that you're looking to hire, uh, hire on full time. So great service, great people. Um, highly recommend uh, Rhonda and her team as well. So uh, we thank them for uh, helping us out here. And last but not least, uh, we have uh, Kevin, Kevin Campbell who is uh, actually doing our uh, uh, presentation today and you'll be blown away by all the information and just he is a great talent you are going to really appreciate the stuff that he has to say also um, at, at the end of this if you find that say hey you want to do some videos I mean he is he is the man to get this going it's amazing the the, the professional level uh, quality videos that you can get produced for absolutely reasonable price this is the stuff you can do now today with video is like what you know fortune 500 companies were doing you know 10 or 15 years ago and you can produce high quality videos now that you know we're out of the reach for most small businesses in the past so what can you expect today um we, we want you to we want you to come away with useful stuff here so it isn't just you know talking and 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 you know we know you didn't need to spend a, a lunch hour here just uh, hanging out with us so we want you to have some really good takeaways um ideas you can implement right away you're we all know video is great and everything, but you need to understand why, how, where. Um, you need to you need to understand some of this stuff. So, get get some get get your pen out, write down some ideas, take some notes, but find some ideas that you can implement right away. Don't don't go away from this thinking this thing thinking oh there's nothing I can do or or oh I'll do that next year. Get something going and get it going right away. Um, you know marketing is more than a tactic. So marketing is a lot more than just YouTube or or direct mail or radio advertising or whatever whatever you're doing marketing is a lot more than a tactic we're going to get into a couple of those things um, having a plan is important so you look at the end what do you want you want leads you want reactivating customers what do you want make that plan and 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 formulate a way to get there and then but that plan should include YouTube it's one of the most powerful things out there right now you know it's owned by Google and so I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll learn a little bit about that but because of that fact, everybody finds things uh, uh, on, on YouTube for, for many, many reasons. Um, so you need to be incorporating that into your plan. Um, so with a plan, you, you need to develop this. So something that, uh, that Plum Marketing does is helps businesses come up with a plan 
from start to finish? How are you going to find that ideal client? How are you going to persuade them? How, if, they, if they become interested in your service or product, how are you going to uh, you know, get them to engage with you? And so coming up with a playbook is, is what we call it. It's not just a marketing plan, but it's really a playbook um, is something that could be very valuable for your business. If, when you're done here, if you want to thumb through, we have just kind of some samples of, uh, of what a playbook looks like uh, from us. And there's a lot of good information in there. Um, when we make a plan or a playbook, Really, there's a what we call the plum marketing pie, and there are three things that really make up what a good marketing plan is going to include. And uh, the who is the number one thing. If you could have the best marketing, the best graphics, uh, you know, the best everything, and if you're targeting the wrong the wrong audience, you have a football product and you're and you're targeting hockey players. Well, you're not going to get much of a response. So. You know, it's very important that you really drill in and hone in on on who you want to market to. Now, incidentally, you might say, "Well, I, I could I can deal with insurance agents, or I could deal with plumbers, or I could deal with, I can deal with any type of business or any type of consumer." That may be true, but your message needs to needs to relate to each of those individual profiles or personas that you're trying to sell to. So my my suggestion for for each of you out here is to really dig deep into who is your best client. I mean, really think of it. Who would you like 10 of that you maybe have one or two of now or, or who you have three or four of it and you'd like to fill your, your whole company with people like that. Find out who those people are, what they look like, and then start developing um, uh, marketing to really attract those very specific people. Um, which uh, brings us to the offers, uh, offers and calls to action. You've got to have powerful offers and powerful calls to action. Um, you don't just want to hang up your sign out there in the marketing world saying, hey, I do, I do X, I do plumbing. Because really there's going to be a lot of people that do the same thing as you. And unless you have something unique and powerful to offer somebody, uh, it uh, probably won't. Be. Does anybody have some ideas of some good offers? Like what, what is something you would respond to? What, what, is, what do you think is maybe one of the most powerful offers out there? Free. Free. <laughs> free is the best thing. So if you can find something free, maybe you have a membership, maybe you have something that people buy on a monthly basis, the best thing you could probably do is to offer that product or service for free as a trial or something like that. So coming up with offers, there's, there's literally a thousand offers, there's a thousand ways to position them. Free, free, free trial, free, free things, free gifts, those types of things. But free is the number one offer. Um, but there's lots of things you can do. So don't, you know, if, if you if you can't offer your service or product for free, some of us can't. Um, but there are uh, there are there are great offers that you can do that will attract your ideal client. Um, and then you know, 20% of this pie is the creative uh, message, uh, you know, and and the imagery. We uh, we're in a very visual visual age right now. So. Um, what used to work, uh, you know, there's what used to work, you know, 10 or 15 years ago with a lot less imagery is becoming harder and harder to make those things work. So what you want to do is combine that graphics and those and that imagery with powerful content. So and you do have to have you can have all the be most beautiful graphics in the world too. And if you don't have a powerful message uh, going along with that, it, it isn't going to work either. So all of this stuff really works works together to make. Uh, to make a, a powerful uh, marketing program. Um, here's just an infographic of when you take this pie and you start putting it into action, what it looks like. So we talked about up here, um, I'm not sure if everybody can see, we've got, the, uh, we've got the who, we've got the message, we've got the imagery, and we've got the offer. So those things, that, that's the real marketing right there. That is the marketing. And the rest is getting, the mar getting that marketing message delivered to your ideal profile. So the marketing is always about these things and then these uh, in this next column here are just the tactics. So tactics is, you know, YouTube, tactics is email, direct mail, phone calling, uh, you know, PR, SEO, speaking events, uh, whatever whatever it may be. Tactics are just the delivery method. So when people say, "Oh yeah, I'm doing marketing. I'm doing some uh, I'm doing some radio advertising." Well, that's not marketing. That's a tactic of marketing. The marketing is really the messaging the the who your who the audience is the imagery offers that sort of thing that's the real that's the real meat of the marketing and then once you have that marketing you can take it to any number of tactics I mean there's literally 
thousands and thousands and thousands of tactics out there, and the web has just exploded the number of tactics that are available to any of us to get our, to get our message across. The thing is, it just has to be the right tactic to get in front of your ideal client or profile. Um, and then, uh, fr from the tactic, then what we're trying to do is collect leads or suspects. Uh, uh, we're, we're trying to find if there's any interest out there in the marketplace. So once we implement our tactics, say we do social media, we do radio, how are we going to find out the people who are interested? Are we going to drive them to a landing page? Are we going to have them call us? What are we going to do? So once you collect their information, which is very key, many people do a lot of marketing but don't have a very good collection method for getting people who are interested. A lot of them, people go straight for the buy, and that doesn't always work. You know, especially if you're B2B, you want to build some interest with, with people. So always going from straight from uh, the marketing straight into a, a, a buying process doesn't always work. So you have to think a little bit like your prospect and what's their pain, what's their problem, how can we interest them and, and really show them maybe over some time that, that we're the right fit. Um, so you get them into this, I call it a sales funnel, and, and from there you can automate a lot of things. If you have a CRM tool, um, there's a lot of different you know, technology pieces that go into this whole funnel here. But once you collect the lead, now you can follow up with people automatically. Um, oh, they downloaded my book for free. So now on day one, I'm going to send them an email. And on day six, I'm going to remind them that in chapter five, there was this great little tidbit that they should probably check out. And maybe on week two, I'm going to send an email to my uh, sales team and say, hey, this person downloaded the book two weeks ago. Make sure you call them and see how things are going. So this is all what a CRM can do. Once you get the lead, you need to try to automate all of your follow-up so you don't forget. Because, you know, salespeople, they're going to follow up with the hot prospect right now. And, you know, if they follow up three or four times, it may take 12 or 13 times before that, that prospect is really ready to sit down and say, okay, let's, let's sit, let's talk, how can we work together? Maybe how can I get a proposal, that sort of thing. So if you're not automating a lot of your marketing, you're probably not going to end up being in front of those prospects enough. And if you're paying, you know, $100, $200, $300 a lead, you don't, you don't want to let those slip through your fingers because they're really valuable. So uh, this, is our, this is just kind of uh, an overview of what the Plum Marketing Pie will, uh, will, will put into place for you. Um, so with that, we've got lots of, there's lots of moving parts here. But the tactics are, I always think the tactics are the most fun because it's, it's a lot of fun to hear your commercial on the radio or see it on TV or see those banner ads pop up when you're, when you're, when you're trolling around on the internet and you say, hey, there's my ad, that's really cool. Um, and so the tactics are the cool thing. And that's really where all of the creativeness kind of comes out and you can, you can see it all. So um, we are going to you know, talk a little bit about, um, uh, about the YouTube tactic and, and everything else here and, um, and just see what, uh, what Kevin has to say going forward. So, Kevin? <laughs>